Filipino Identification System or PhilSys bill passed and approved. After several years of waiting since the period of President Fidel V. Ramos, the concern of having a single, unified, and streamlined national identification system is now resolved. Our CBRC Manila correspondent, Renel De Choso, is on top of the story. The House Bill No. 6221, or an act establishing the Filipino identification system, was passed and approved on its third and final reading in the House of Representatives with a vote of 142-7, last May 10, 2017. The bill shall be known as the Filipino Identification System or the PhilSys, which has the primary objective to provide a valid proof identity in each citizen for simplifying the processes in all services, either public or private sectors. For efficiency and convenience, the National Identification System synchronizes and consolidates all existing government-initiated identification systems like BIR, SSS, NBI, PhilHealth, among others. Every Filipino reaching an age of 18 residing in the Philippines or abroad is mandated to register their personal data as required by the PhilSys. There will be no charge upon the initial application and issuance of the identification card except when there is a need for issuance or replacement due to loss of the card. The fill ID will be non-transferable, valid for lifetime, and made of tamper-proof security material containing face data relating to the owner. For security and confidentiality, all data shall be determined by Philippine Statistic Authority in coordination with the Department of Information and Communications Technology and the National Privacy Commission. Indicated on the face of the card is the owner's full name, name suffix, a front-facing photograph, sex, date, and place of birth, permanent address, blood type, and the CRN or common reference number which will be unique permanent and issued to a citizen for a lifetime and cannot be reissued for another individual. Aligned with technological modernization, the card is built in with a smart chip including all owner's data with biometric information containing the citizen's left primary finger code, right primary finger code, left back finger code, right back finger code, iris scan, and facial exception code. According to Congresswoman Sol Aragones, the identification card will facilitate the adjustment of transactions, especially in government offices, and for those who don't have any single card will be having their ID, which is space economy, in a wallet and could be used in all transactions, either in public and private sectors. Aragones also hope to implement this system next year with an allocated budget up to 2 billion pesos. Thank you, Renel. The sponsors of the said bill are Sol Aragones, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Carlo Alexei Nograles, and Arnolfo Tevez Jr. We ask so you may know. We feature so you may appreciate. We inform so you may decide. We balance so you may judge. I'm Joyce Irenara, and this is CNL. <laughs>